Well, breaking news coming in on the arrogance displayed by former Goa Minister Miki Pacheco. No action has been taken against the arrogant VVIP Neta, despite a complaint that was filed. Only an NC has been filed. Those are the latest details that are coming in as far as this entire incident is concerned. There's been no action that has been filed uh, after his arrogance was on full display, after he broke all the rules and even openly threatened uh, the people who tried to actually call him out. Uh, now we understand that there's no action being taken uh, and in fact this has sparked, this entire incident has also sparked a big row. Uh, he, he brazened it out entirely, broke the rules and hurled abuses when he was confronted by the activists. This is after he drove on the beach, uh, which is against the rules. And now there, ha there is no action that has been taken and only an NC that has been filed. We will get you more details as to what really ensued for this to take place. But at this point, uh, this is, uh, it was complete arrogance that was displayed by the Neta there. Uh, and he has now, the former Goa minister, Miki Pacheco, uh, drove on the beach, which was completely against the rules. And then he, there was, uh, he, he, people even tried to call him out, but he hurled abuses when he was confronted by the activists. The minister's supporters as well tried to assault the activists. He abused, he threatened them. Uh, when they told him that what he was doing was against the rules, he drove on the beach and over the parachute uh, of, of over there that belonged to somebody uh, on the beach. And uh, that is when somebody tried to, people tried to call him out for what he was doing, breaking the rules. Let's go across to Herman. Uh, Herman, there's been no action taken. This was pure brazen arrogance that we saw coming from him, openly flouting the rules and no action being taken. Well, that's right. In fact, uh, you know that uh, uh, NC copy that we have, the non cognizable complaint, in fact, that has been filed against uh, Miki Pacheco, it does go on to state that to approach uh, the uh, courts uh, and so on as per the procedure that has been involved. So clearly, we did see on camera how a very strong case was against Mr. Miki Pacheco. In fact, uh, a short while back, I even I spoke to him and what he said, and a very bizarre uh, reason as to coming saying that uh, he had, in fact, received a call from one of his constituents saying that they have not been well and because an ambulance was not being allowed on the seashore that is when he decided to take his own car but when I further tried to ask him as to why would someone who because clearly the if he's been referring to someone who's not well that person is not seen in the video in fact the video shows clearly that it is in fact he and his friends who are sitting having a good time consuming alcohol and furthermore it is uh, at least twice when he tries to turn around his vehicle and try to move down uh, the activists come businessmen the local business businessman here who he tried to further assault along with his supporters before moving away from that. No clear answers coming and then furthermore after this complaint has been filed, not an FIR but just an NC that has been filed against him. He still, he in fact goes on to say that this is political vendetta and has been blaming his opponents but clearly the uh, video proves otherwise. Therefore the big question to the Goa police, are they buckling under pressure that there is no strong case that has been uh, registered against this known offender Miki Pasheko? Absolutely, Herman. And in fact, uh, earlier on as well, uh, he was defending his act and even went on to say, let the police come, uh, let them take action. Correct. And that is not just, uh, he also goes on to say, I, my conscience is clear. Uh, if it is up to the police, let them, uh, you know, there's this whole tone of arrogance uh, uh, that he speaks with. He clearly also says that I did not fire any bad words. Yes, I didn't make a, I probably did take the car onto the beach. But the reason, again, coming in very bizarre for him, the video clearly proves not just on one, but uh, at least multiple occasions when his supporters, they try to heckle uh, this local businessman from the area who try, you know, who tried, in fact, uh, to uh, record the entire sequence of events. Uh, the activist come local businessman has also been saying that there were young children on the seashore, but this Miki Pasheko, the former minister, in fact a tourism minister who decided uh, uh, to indulge in rash driving, he consumed alcohol um, again at a designated spot along with his supporters and then tried to beat him up before trying to move him down in that very vehicle. Again, that clearly amounts to drunken driving. Why is the Goa police not building a very strong case? 
that is the current question that crops up. Is it because he is an influential personality, uh, a former minister? Uh, that is also uh, the complainant in this case has been saying, I do not think that there could be an FIR. I had a telephonic conversation in fact with him. He said the same thing, I do not think that this would be a very strong case and clearly with an NC, with just an NC being registered, it proves uh, that you know the, probably the Goa police in all likelihood is buckling under pressure. Back to you. Right, so Harman, clearly the police there uh, absolutely refused to file the FIR itself. Well, it's not an FIR. In fact, it's a non-cognizable complaint that has been filed, equivalent to an FIR rather, and uh, suggesting that, that he approaches uh, a, further higher, uh, a further court, in fact, uh, and the reasons have been given endless, but none of it justifying the brazenness of this MLA, all of which has been caught in tape, whether it is uh, driving a vehicle on the seashore, uh, drunken driving, assaulting someone, trying to move him down, and even to the extent of, you know, firing those bad words along with his supporters, none of that. Uh, amounting to any sort of FIR sections that have been related, just a NC that has been filed against him and directing the complainant to approach the higher court. All right, uh, thanks, Arman, for getting us those details. Now, just for our viewers to remind you of what happened, uh, Miki Pacheco was caught, caught flouting the rules and then brazenly defending himself. He was seen driving away in his SUV over an adventure sport operator's parachute laid out on the beach. And when confronted by the operator, the minister and his aides threatened and abused the man. Listening, listen to him defending his act. Taking the vehicle on a shoot. I was sitting after that. I parked my car. Even if I violated the violated the law, okay, there is the authority. He can file a case. Let the police come and and you know find me. But when I was sitting in the restaurant having my food, he this boy, Mr. Melroy, son of Fanny De Silva who is Portugal national, okay, taking videography, okay. I told him twice not to take the videography. I have a life to live. I am having food, okay. And he is instigating. Do what you want. If you want, you can catch me. If you go to the video, you will find. And he is calling me this, uh, uh, you know, MLA, ex-MLA of New York Constituency, ex-tourism bloody, ex-tourism minister. He thinks he is still in the power. Power is not a point. Point is here. I came on the beach to save somebody's life, and which I had done earlier also. I don't need that. It's not a, a, I'm a, it is a pleasure to drive such a luxury car on the beach. This is because so will drive. And I am not prevented to drive anywhere as long as there is a motorable way and cinematic tires.